Women have made significant contribution to science from the earliest of times. Historians with an interest in gender and science have illuminated the scientific endeavors and accomplishments of women as well as the barriers they face from the society. In today's video, we're going to be talking about these incredible women in science. But when we talk about women in science, or maybe just women in STEM in general, how many actually come up to your mind? One of the only female scientists that people can name today is Madame Marie Curie. Madame Curie was a Polish and naturalized French physicist and chemist who conducted pioneering research on radioactivity. She was the first female scientist to receive a Nobel Prize in Physics. She was also the first scientist ever to receive two Nobel Prizes for her work in radiation. She is also given credit for discovery of two new elements polonium-84 and radium-88. And yes, her achievements are amazing. But did you know that her daughter Irene Curie is also a Nobel laureate? Irene Curie began her scientific career as a lab assistant at the Radium Institute of Paris. She continued research in nuclear physics as well as transformation of elements and finally for the discovery of artificial radiation was given the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in the year 1935. Speaking of chemistry, ever heard of Asima Chatterjee? Asima Chatterjee was an Indian organic chemist. She authored a considerable volume of work on medicinal plants in the Indian subcontinent and was also the first woman to receive a doctorate of science from an Indian university. Her work led to the development of anti-eleptic and anti-malarial drugs. Her most famous work includes her research on the Vinca alkaloides or the periwinkle flower, which is said to have anti-cancer properties. Can you name any female physicist? Ever heard of Catherine Burr Blodgett? Catherine Burr Blodgett was an American physicist who was known popularly for her work in the field of surface chemistry. She was the first woman to ever receive a PhD in physics. She did that from Cambridge University. Her most famous work includes her invention of the invisible non-reflective glass which was a pioneer for her field. Another female physicist you should know about is Jocelyn Bell Burnell. She is an astrophysicist from Northern Ireland. She was credited with one of the most significant scientific achievements of the 20th century. However, for the Nobel Prize for this discovery, her name was actually omitted. While a postgraduate student, she co-discovered the first radio pulsars. Another one of her achievements was she presided over the Royal Society. You could name Euclid, Pythagoras or even Ramanujam. But how many female mathematicians can you name? Emmy Noetta was a German mathematician who made important contributions to abstract algebra and theoretical physics. She has been named by various famous scientists as the most important woman in the history of mathematics. The Noether's theorem states that every differentiable symmetry of the action of a physical system has a corresponding conservation law. This theorem became the foundation of quantum physics and helped in formation of the theory of relativity. Another famous female mathematician is Edith Clark. Edith Clark was the first female electrical engineer. She invented the Clark calculator that used electrical current, voltage and impedance in power transmission lines to solve mathematical equations. Another inspiration to women all around the world is Maria Mirzkhani, 
an Iranian mathematician and professor of mathematics at the Stanford University. Maryam was the first Iranian student to achieve a perfect score in maths. She also became the first female recipient of the Fields Medal, which is the equivalent for a Nobel Prize in mathematics. What about the female biologists of the world? Are we forgetting them? Not at all. Flossie Wong Stahl Flossie is a Chinese-American virologist and a molecular biologist. She was the first scientist to clone the HIV-1 virus and determine the map of its gene, which was the first step in proving that HIV is the cause of AIDS. You must have heard of Rosalind Franklin. The biologist who took X-ray photographs of crystallized DNA and was actually the first person to discover the double helix shape of DNA, for which she was denied the credit. Now, women don't waste their time gazing into space, do they? Meet Henrietta Swan Leavitt. Henrietta was an American astronomer, a graduate of Radcliffe College, and worked at the Harvard College Observatory. She designed her own scale for distance between planets called the Henrietta Scale. This scale ultimately helped us understand the age of the universe. You must have definitely heard of Katherine Johnson. Katherine Johnson is an African-American mathematician as well as astronomer whose calculations of orbital mechanics as a NASA employee were critical to the success of the first and subsequent US manned space flights. She was often given the nickname of a human computer because she earned the reputation for mastering complex manual calculations. So, um, women don't code, right? I mean, how many women just program and design codes? Grace Hopper says hi. Grace Hopper was an American computer scientist and United States Navy Rear Admiral one of the first programmers of the Harvard computer who invented one of the first linkers and developed the COBOL high-level language. Finally, we come to Margaret Hamilton. Margaret Hamilton is an American computer scientist and business owner. She coined the term software engineer. She was the director of the software engineering division for all the Apollo space programs that went to the moon. So that is our list of the scientific superwomen in today's world. Back then, they had to face societal pressure, sexism at work to try and complete their research. But things are better now, right? Sexism at the workplace doesn't exist today. We all respect our female counterparts, don't we? The society will only progress if the women in science are given equal opportunity as the men. We will reach the stars if we give these women an equal opportunity, a stress-free environment, and equal acceptance.